The Chan Chan Luan Award goes to Dr. Wolfgang Betger for an abstract presenting real-world data from Germany in standard of care CAR T cell therapy for large B cell lymphoma. Why was it important to carry out this study? CAR T cell therapy really changed the picture in lymphoma therapy in the recent two years uh, in uh, clinical practice. And therefore, since in Germany, uh, 26 centers total were actively doing this therapy, it's natural to ask how does real world data compare to approval studies where there is a tighter patient selection um, and also in real world always patients who are more advanced and more complicated treatment uh, situations get this kind of therapy. Uh, so it's a very practical issue since this therapy is also very expensive for natural. So um, I think this needs a kind of reality check and this will also help to advance this kind of therapy uh, to better select patients who are um, um, really benefiting of this kind of cellular therapy. How extensive was it? First of all, we um, try to reach out to all German centers uh, currently performing CAR T cell therapy. And um, in this study now, in this abstract, 18 of the 26 centers shared the data with us, which I'm very grateful since this is a very big collaborative effort. Um, and we extracted the PROMISE database from the, the main data points uh, collected there for CAR T cell therapy dates, uh, um, relapse uh, dates and so on. But then we went back to each individual center and had a quality control of the data we collected and also added some further data points we needed to better uh, pinpoint the patient population treated in real world. So it, it was a back and forth between the centers and the data management for about half a year. So yes, it was a big effort, but uh, I think the results are more than uh, rewarding, which we collected by this uh, endeavor. What were the key findings and what does this mean for CAR T cell therapy in Germany and also around the world? It's somewhat the reality check. So I think um, the results we see in real world are very good for response, initial response and for toxicity. But the long term benefit is still somewhat lacking since we see a 12 uh, month uh, progression free survival in the range of 18 to 20 percent. This is somewhat uh, not what we expected from the approval studies where the long term benefit was more in the range of 30 to 40 percent. So this actually shows us that we are still um, looking for the right place of this therapy in the treatment algorithm and perhaps we have to treat patients earlier with this kind of therapy. And this is the issue of ongoing prospective clinical trials we are performing right now.